an old home with a lot of meaning made a move to Denton County Historical Park today. The almost 100 year old structure is the last remaining Quaker Town house in southeast Denton. Quakertown was a settlement for former slaves. The first owner, William Evelyn Woods, purchased the home for about $600 around 1920. Two of his daughters are still alive, and they spoke with Fox 4's Dion England. My daddy and his sisters and brothers. A family's history inside this wood frame house. It was basically a typical house of that type. Well, it was what, what blacks could get at that time. This is what, what was available. The old home loaded onto a semi, bound for its new location as a cultural monument. We used to have a little um, closet underneath the stairwell. Mm -hmm. And a lot of time when I was real small, I'd go in there and sit and read books. And it's over 100 years old. But um, in a way, I guess I'm proud that they are going to preserve it. Sisters Ethel Woods Gray and Vora Woods Crutchfield recall their childhood home and the story of their father, William Evelyn Woods, and their mother, Alberta Woods, who purchased it for $600 around 1920. Ethel's husband, Brucey e. Gray, was a visitor and friend who became part of the family. Mr. Woods was very concerned about uh, blacks being successful in doing things. He was one that gave some thought to what tomorrow is going to be like. In its heyday, the house was white and the backdrop for many pictures. He buried his treasures there. Denton County identified it as the last remaining house from a section of Southeast Denton known as Quakertown, where former slaves settled. When they do decide to develop that uh, uh, acreage, uh, they may run across some of Sam Bass's loot. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting for these surviving two of 10 siblings. Knowing Denton County's history for generations to come, we'll take a seat in their former home. That's Grandma and Grandpa Bennett. Mm -hmm. In Denton, Dion Anglin, Fox 4 News.